going to be talking about how the ganglioside and the, the antibodies against ganglioides produce neuro-ophthalmic disease. And so the ganglioside, G, is a combination of the ceramide core molecule plus a series of sugars. And so that series of sugars is what determines the name of the ganglioside. So when you have the ceramide plus a single sugar, like glucose or galactose, we call that a cerebroside. So the side chain is a single sugar, monosaccharide, none of this. And so those would be glucose cerebroside or galactose cerebroside. But once you add on this chain, the oligosaccharide chain, then that's what we call a ganglioside. So cerebroside, one sugar, ganglioside, oligosaccharide chain. And on the oligosaccharide chain, you can have sialic acids. So these little diamonds will represent the sialic acids. And the number of sialic acids is the next letter in the naming nomenclature of ganglioides. So the next letter is not a letter, it's a number. So in this case, there are two sialics. So that is ganglioside disialic, two sialics. If it was three, it'd be trisialic. If it was four, it'd be quadrosialic. In this case, there's two. And those are going to appear on the galactose. So can't just stick it on anywhere. It has to be stuck on in a very specific place. And then the next number is the series of the sugar, which is the oligosaccharide sugar, glucose, galactose, galnac, galactose. And so in this case, it's GD1, GD1. But because we have two sialic acids, it can be two in the A row or two in the B row, this is A, this is B. So this would be A, and this one is B. So you need to know how to name the ganglioside based on the core molecule, the oligosaccharide chain, the number of sialic acids, and the row in which the sialic appears. And for neuro-ophthalmology, the one we're looking at is GQ1B. It's ganglioside because it's the ceramide core molecule plus the oligosaccharide. It's Q because it's quattro. So we're just adding four here, one, two, three, four. And because this is the one series of the sugar, glucose, galactose, galnec, galactose, four sialic acids, and A and B row, that thing is called ganglioside quattro 1B. The reason you need to know it is, this portion of the molecule looks exactly like the oligosaccharide glycoprotein sticking out of Campylobacter jejuni. So it is molecular mimicry. Your antigen presenting cell sees the antigen of C. jejuni, the oligosaccharide, tells a T cell through a MHC complex interaction, contacts a B cell who makes an immunoglobulin, and that immunoglobulin, which it thinks is attacking C. jejuni, is now attacking you. Anti GQ1B antibody is the result of molecular mimicry against the ganglioside core molecule sticking out of C. jejuni's oligosaccharide cell membrane, leading to the disease that we call Miller-Fisher variant Guillain-Barre syndrome. Got all that? <laughs>